is New Year's Day, 1980. A beautiful day in Dallas, Texas, at the Cotton Bowl. Hello, everybody. I'm Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning here in the booth. We'll be doing the play-by-play -play and the analysis on the field, giving us reports on the weather and happenings on the playing surface. Frank Lieber, who's done that so well, so long for CBS here at the Cotton Bowl. And of course, Paul, today we have two very outstanding teams. It's a great year, to, a great way to start the new year off. Both these teams evenly matched, 10 and 1 records, looking to move up in the national rankings. Nebraska runs from an eye formation. Well, what an eye formation. They've got one of the greatest walk-ons in college football history, Jarvis Redwine. Here we see him in action. He takes the pitch out of the eye. Got great breakaway speed. In fact, the Nebraska coaches tell us, Lindsey, the guy has legitimate 4-4 speed. He's the fastest back ever to play in Nebraska. Junior Miller, the tight end, everybody's All-American. He'll go very high in the draft, possibly in the first six pitch. Here we see Ju Junior Miller, number 89. He'll be all over the field today. He's got the great deep speed for a tight end. 6'5", about 225, and can he run? Speaking of running, he runs the reverse pretty well, too. Look at this, end around, Miller goes all the way for about 35 big ones. What, what a great Nebraska Houston, of course, runs from the Veer. They invented it. They invented the Veer. Why not? Bill Yeomans has just made a living off the Veer offense, one of the toughest offenses in college football to stop. Terrell Clark, Terrell Clark, number 26, is the man Nebraska's great defense will have to stop. Here he is, breaking over the middle, all the way. Both these running backs, in fact, John Newhouse, you'll see in that Houston backfield, has great breakaway speed. They're not too big, a solid 200-pound running backs, but they can fly. This is a guy that the Nebraska defense will be seeing all day long, Delrick Brown, the quarterback. He's really the heart and soul of the Vera offense, the quick feet. Here he is on the option right. There's your trail back. You'll see that play today. He cuts inside for six. Both teams have won 10, lost one. Now let's take a look at the field. And the motions are running high here at the Cotton Bowl. Oh. The 1980 Cotton Bowl is sponsored by Buick and your local Buick dealers who invite you to stop in now during their holiday get-together. The Continental Insurance Companies, whose over 4 million satisfied policyholders do the Continental. Pepsi-Cola and your local Pepsi-Cola bottler have a Pepsi day. And by Valvoline Motor Oil. Valvoline, the motor oil that's not just for winning races. Now let's go down to the field of Frank Lieber. Well, Lindsay, you had to be here last year to appreciate the weather this year. Remember last year, 20 above zero, 20 below chill factor on the heels of the worst ice storm in Dallas history. Today has dawned beautiful. The temperature right now near 60 degrees, sunshiny day, just a slight wind out of the south, which will be blowing from right to left as you view the action. The Cotton Bowl has a bit of a face lift since last year. They put in a million dollars worth of improvements, including a brand new artificial surface. Lindsay? And so now the toss of the coin as the captains come to the center of the field. Captain Cole, good to know you. Captain Smith, good to know you. Uh, Captain Cole, this is Captain Brown, Captain Hodge, and Captain Wells. This is Captain Smith. Brown, Hodge, and Wells. Gentlemen, let me introduce my fellow officials to you here. On the left is Mr. Horton. This is Mr. Colwell, Mr. Scobie, Mr. Hardy, and Mr. Delaney. Uh, Captain, you're the visiting team. We'll let you call the toss. I'll toss the coin in the air, catch it open-handed, won't turn it over. If I drop it, we'll toss it again. You call it for me loud in the air, Captain. Heads. You call heads, Captain. It is tails, Captain. It's your choice of kick, re kick receive, or defend the goal. We'll receive. You will receive. And which goal will you defend, Captain? This goal, will you turn that way for me? All right, Captain Brown, you won the toss. You've elected to receive. We're going to kick and defend the goal to your back. Good luck. And so we have had the toss of the coin. Houston has won the toss. They will be receiving, and Kevin, Kevin Seibel will be kicking off for Nebraska. Robert Ayer from Shreveport, Louisiana, is the referee. All the uh, officials here today 
uh, from the Southeastern Conference. Harvey Hardy's the umpire. He's from Lakeland, Florida. He was an outstanding player in the 1943 Cotton Bowl game. Dave Skilby from Nashville is the linesman. Robert Caldwell Jr. from Columbus, Mississippi is the line judge. His father, Bob Caldwell, was an official in the 1953 Cotton Bowl game, Tennessee and Texas. Field judges Joe Delaney Jr. from Atlanta. The back judges Charles Horton from Morgantown, South Carolina. Seibel has teed the ball up on the 40-yard line. Now Houston is deploying to receive it. Dallas Wiggins is going back. Along with Eddie Wright. Wiggins and Wright are the deep men. Here comes Seibel. Ball is in the air. And it is second by Wright. Drops it, picks it up, gets back to the 5, 10, 15. And struggles across to the 21-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go for Houston at the 21. Jim Baker downfield to make the tackle. today most defensive battles aren't that interesting the second time Nebraska got its hands on the ball Jarvis Redwine went around left end for the first touchdown and then early in the second quarter Terry Elston went around the Cougars left end to tie it up boredom set in for the next part of the game and Cotton Bowl officials weren't nearly as happy hard hits make fumbles and this Terrell Clark bobble ended any first half threat Houston might have had David Legal provided the only interesting moment in the third quarter when he took a boring punt back 40 yards. But just as soon as everyone got interested again, it was three downs and another punt. A Houston field goal broke the tie early in the fourth quarter, and it stayed 10 to 7 until four minutes were left. Then Nebraska's Jeff Quinn flipped a six-yard pass to Jeff Finn, and Nebraska was going to win a yawner 14 to 10. But the Cougars have good memories of last year when they let Notre Dame embarrass them. And this year's team had used Elston four different times for incredible comebacks. Today's was perhaps his best. First, on a third and five, a shot to Eric Herring for a first down. Then, with less than a minute, another to Herring, and it was first and goal. Then, four plays later, fourth and goal from the six. Houston wins their second Cotton Bowl in four years. The final had the Cougars on top 17-14 to over Nebraska. Carl Shookman, Channel 5 Action News at the Cotton Bowl. <laughs>